Hey everyone, Tech Dimension here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to factory reset any iPad on the latest iOS version in 2024. I'm going to do it on a mini 6th generation, but this will apply to any iPad that you have on the latest version. So let's get started. First thing before you do consider doing a factory reset is backing up if you want to keep your data like your photos, videos, apps, or if you're gonna transfer over to a new iPad, I recommend doing that first before you do a factory reset because once a factory reset has been done, all of your data will be wiped out from that iPad and you can no longer get that back in the future if you want a copy of that. So once you decided to do a backup, or you can always back up to your iCloud by going into your settings, iCloud or Apple ID and then clicking on iCloud and then under device backup for iCloud backup, you can turn this on and then click on backup now. And once you're satisfied that you have a backup or you transferred everything over, it's time to show you how to do a reset. To redo a reset, we're gonna be in the settings. We're gonna click on general, and then right here it says transfer reset iPad. We're gonna click on that, and then click on erase all content and setting. And once we do that, we're gonna be able to now start the race process or the factory reset process. It's gonna show us what's gonna get removed. Our Apple ID is gonna get removed. The activation is gonna get removed and any apps and data that we downloaded will get removed as well. And basically everything will be deleted and back to factory settings. So hit continue. And it's doing a backup here. If you didn't do a backup, we'll just skip that for now. And then you need to enter your Apple ID password to remove your Apple ID account. So it's unlinked from your account. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter my Apple ID password. Now, once you enter your Apple ID password, simply click on that turn off option up top here, and then we're gonna wait for it to basically remove our Apple ID. It didn't work the first time, so I'm gonna try again one more time. And then now it's gonna say, oh, are you sure it just wants a confirmation because this cannot be undone once we do this. So we're gonna hit confirm by race, and then the process has begun. Now the process can take between a few minutes to five to 10 minutes, depending on how much data you have that needs to get removed. During this process, one thing to keep in mind is that your iPad has enough charge, and you wanna see this through until you get to the hello screen, which will show you that will indicate we have successfully factory reset our iPad. So you'll see the Apple logo, it might flash a few times, the loading will flash a few times. Uh, that's completely normal, let it, uh, do its thing and we're going to see how it looks like when it's factory reset so I see the Apple logo again come up and we will wait for that hello screen to come up and we have this menu going again one more time which again is completely fine this is in real time to just to show you how long this process can take you. And I don't have much on this iPad, so it should be a little bit quicker. And while this is going through, if you haven't hit that a subscribe button and join our channel, make sure to do that for tips and tricks like this for your iPhone, iPad, and other Apple devices as well. So let's go ahead and see this through. And as you can see here, now we have successfully factory reset the iPad. We see that hello screen that has popped up, which is good to go for us. And then we can swipe up and it's gonna ask us to think, set up things like uh, language and all of that, which you don't have to set up and it will be completely gone. Another thing to keep in mind if when you do a factory reset is that if you have a SIM card, you can always take the SIM card out, especially if you're trading it in, selling it, or giving it away if you don't want your data on that device. But I hope this video was helpful. If so please consider the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPad, iPhone, and other iOS devices. See you guys next time.